Hello. If you have more than one operating system installed in your computer, you are probably using a software called Grub. Based on the same project, the developers who gave us Grub have come up with a new bootloader called Berg. It can be used on a wider range of machines, recognizes more operating systems, and its menu is more flexibly configurable than Grub. It gives you the option of using either text or graphics mode. Here we are going to install it on Ubuntu 11.10, although the same procedure could also be applied to Ubuntu 11.04. It can also be installed in the same way in Ubuntu, Maverick Mirkat and Lucid Links, with the exception of the PPA address. For uh, Lucid Links and Maverick Mirkat, the address is PPA colon bin 123ch slash perk, B-E-A-N 123ch slash berg b u r g the rest is exactly the same so let's start then shall we berg is not found in the ubuntu repositories so i will have to add its ppa manually to do that i will type in sudo add apt repository there it is then uh, you put in the PPA address by typing PPA colon n that's the address for Berg's uh, repository m u e n c h I'm not sure really how to pronounce that slash Berg press enter probably get a warning yeah uh, you will just have to press enter it will tell us whether it could uh, import it or not there it is. Processed one, imported one. Uh, that's it. So now we will have to update our repository. To do that, sudo apt get update. There it is. It's done. Let's install Berg now. sudo apt get install. Berg. Uh, additionally, we are going to install its themes. So, just the same command: Berg hyphen themes. There we go. It says it's going to need to download 13 megabytes, 13.2 uh, megabytes, and once downloaded, it's going to take 25 megabytes of additional disk space in our hard drive. I'm okay with that, so I'll press y for yes and enter now we wait for a while until it finishes installation the download has completed installation we, start. we don't have to type anything here we'll just press enter again enter
This text informs us that we should configure Berg with the hard drive which has our operating systems. That will tell Berg uh, where to look for the bootable files. In the next prompt, select the hard drive which has the bootable files uh, so Berg could recognize them. If you don't know which one of your hard drives has the bootable files, then select them all. What you do not want to risk is Berg not knowing where to find your bootable files. In which case it wouldn't be able to boot and you won't get into your operating systems, which is, in my opinion, a major disaster. Don't worry though. If you don't get to pick the right hard drive at this point, uh, Berg gives you another chance. There is a command berg-install and then you give it the hard drive's name after which Berg will show you the list of bootable files it found on that hard drive. If it didn't, you can change the hard drive. And just to be sure, after that you can still emulate Berg. That is to see what Berg would look like after you restart your computer. Press enter. Here are uh, the list of my devices which are connected to the computer. But I know that my operating systems are in the first one. Press space to select the hard drive and then enter it will show us what it found in that hard drive no error reported there they are it has listed all the installations it found on my computer Linux image 3.0 Windows 7, Linux Mint, Ubuntu the command I mentioned earlier about uh, installing a hard drive is sudo berg install then within quotes then within brackets inside within parentheses hd0 that would be for the first hard drive I will press enter No error reported. Uh, now I can update Berg. sudo update Berg. There it is, doing the same thing again. It found all the images which actually were there before. That's because I did select the right hard drive. But if you didn't, this is your rescue command. To see how it looks and to make sure that it has been installed properly, Berg allows you to emulate it using the command sudo berg emu for emulate. Enter. There is Berg. The progress bar is what it would do uh, before it loads. It gives you a few seconds before it loads to the selected or uh, the default operating system. If you press any key in the middle of that, uh, it stops and lets you choose. Uh, this is the full list of the operating systems I have in my computer. Here you have several options. You can press F2 to select a uh, theme for Berg. It has several of them. I selected the same theme. I will choose the Ubuntu one. You have other options such as F, uh, to have folded option it gives you the main uh, boot options there are a few shortcuts you, uh, you can try out on your keyboard uh, it's highly configurable and very flexible it's compatible with graphical uh, interface and text interface and I find it very nice way of booting up instead of the text-based kind of DOS-looking uh, grub. I will close this now. That's it. 
Now I can resize my computer and see what it looks like. That's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed watching this and I would love to hear your feedback on the comment section. Thanks for watching. Have fun!